And that, Kanye, <laughs> is how you buy yourself some time. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 cancelled celebrities. Where are they now? This was amazing! <laughs> oh! For this list, we'll be looking at famous people who faced widespread backlash and or were embroiled in controversies and examining what they've been up to in recent years. Do you still follow these celebrities' lives and output? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10. Ellen DeGeneres this comic was once an icon of pop culture, paving the way for LGBT representation in television and subsequently launching a beloved talk show. It's September 8th. This is our very, very first show, and you are my very first audience. <laughs> Her accomplishments cannot be forgotten, but DeGeneres herself was called out in 2020. It was alleged that the production of The Ellen DeGeneres Show was full of problems, including racism, harassment, and wanton terminations. Shocking allegations on their own, but this was at The Ellen Show. Ellen Show, a woman who has built a reputation and in fact an empire on the idea of us all being nice, being kind to each other. Other reports also came to the surface, notably accusing DeGeneres of being less than kind. She failed to renew her contract when it expired in 2022, effectively bringing her long-running talk show to a close. Thank you so much for being on this journey with me. I feel the love, and I send it back to you. Bye. The generous reveal to The Hollywood Reporter that she will be taking a year-long hiatus to sit still. Number 9. Gina Carano After finding great success in mixed martial arts, Carano became a household name by playing Cara Dune in The Mandalorian. This is Navarro. We're here. This entire area is the green zone, completely safe. But over on this side is the problem. Her use of social media drew some controversy in 2020, but it wasn't until the following year that things publicly came crashing down for the popular actress. She continues to craft contentious posts, notably shaming the use of masks for protection against COVID-19 and making inappropriate comparisons to the Holocaust. I was speaking out about lockdowns, masks, vaccinations, and pronouns way before anybody was even, like, saying a word about it, and so I was a little bit ahead. She was ultimately fired from Lucasfilm and removed from The Mandalorian. After being effectively excommunicated from Hollywood, Carano began partnering with conservative media companies and is now starring in their movies. In 2022, she appeared in The Daily Wire's Terror on the Prairie and Breitbart News' My Son Hunter. So the obvious next question is, Where's Hunter? Number 8. Jussie Smollett Like Ellen DeGeneres, Jussie Smollett paved the way for representation in TV, playing a gay black man in Fox's Empire. Sometimes you feel insecure, trust me babe, I understand. The role earned him popularity and an NAACP Image Award for Outstanding New Artist, but the actor made headlines in January 2019 when he was supposedly the victim of a hate crime. Then I look down and I see that there's a rope around my neck, which I hadn't You obviously hadn't noticed that, it before? No, you didn't because see? it was so fast. You know what I'm saying? It was so fast. How long did this all... It felt Take like minutes, but it probably was like 30 seconds. It was eventually alleged that he lied about the story and was charged with felony disorderly conduct for filing false police reports. Smollett was convicted, but is still battling the legal aftermath of the ordeal on appeal. A defiant Smollett shouting as he was let out of the courtroom after being sentenced to 30 months probation with the first 150 days to be served at Chicago's notorious Cook County Jail. Though he continues his creative output, it's at a highly reduced rate. He co-wrote, produced, and directed the 2021 movie B-Boy Blues, which is about two black men falling in love in New York. Number 7. Dave Chappelle Following the end of The Chappelle Show, Dave Chappelle went on an extended break and only made occasional appearances in the media. I'm sorry, I can't do this anymore. What? Why not? I'm burnt out, Lou. I got a family, man. I'm working 20-hour days every day. I ain't making no money. 
That changed around the mid-2010s when he started regularly doing stand-up again. However, this return has been marred in various controversies, with a comedian making some ill-advised jokes through his specials. In 2021, The Closer was released on Netflix to mixed reviews and widespread controversy. All right. It's gonna get worse than that. Hang in there. <laughs> it's gonna get way worse than that. Chappelle was accused of making transphobic remarks, and the special caused various Netflix employees to walk off the job in protest. Regardless, Chappelle continues his stand-up career. In 2022, he headlined four nights at the Hollywood Bowl and hosted Saturday Night Live. Kanye's gotten into some scrapes before. Normally, when, he, when he's in trouble, I pull up, I pull up immediately. But this time, I was like, you know what? Uh, let me see what's gonna happen first. Let's just see. <laughs> Number 6. Roseanne Barr Barr made headlines when it was revealed that her long-running and beloved sitcom Roseanne was returning to the airwaves. What happened? I thought you were dead. I'm sleeping. Why does everybody always think I'm dead? You looked happy. I thought maybe you moved on. However, that highly anticipated return did not last long. Just two months after the season debuted in 2018 to enormous success, Barr tweeted a racist insult aimed at government official Valerie Jarrett. She addressed the controversy tonight on MSNBC's Town Hall on Racism. Well, first of all, I think we have to turn it into a teaching moment. I'm fine. I'm worried about all the people out there who don't have a circle of friends and followers who come right to their defense. The Roseanne revival was swiftly axed by ABC, and Barr largely disappeared from the public spotlight. She was notably excluded from The Connors, a follow-up to the sitcom. Well, that's why I'm here. I know Roseanne would want me to step in and watch over the family. No, it'd kill her. <laughs> but she's already dead, so carry on. However, the actress now seems to be trying to revive her career. In 2023, she will deliver a brand new comedy special on Fox Nation, the companion streaming service to the conservative network. Number 5. Bill O'Reilly Speaking of Fox, Bill O'Reilly was one of its biggest stars throughout the 90s and 2000s. He hosted the popular talk show The O'Reilly Factor, which ran between 1996 and 2017. Hi, I'm Bill O'Reilly. Thanks for watching us tonight. We'll have the Talking Points memo a bit later on, but first, an interview with Donald Trump. It was then that the New York Times broke a story claiming that numerous sexual harassment suits against O'Reilly worth millions of dollars had been settled. Much of the information in the New York Times report about Bill O'Reilly was already known, including the most devastating case against him from 2004, which included transcripts of phone calls Bill O'Reilly made to a Fox News employee. He was promptly fired from Fox, and his show came to an end after more than 20 years. O'Reilly then started No Spin News, a podcast to which he eventually added a video component. Welcome to the No Spin News, Tuesday, January 24th, 2023. Stand up for your country. And I know I'm getting mail saying it's hard to stand up for your country these days. That's true. No doubt. He also continues to write with author Martin Dugard, notably publishing two books in 2022. Another, Killing the Witches, The Horror of Salem, Massachusetts, is scheduled for release in 2023. Number 4. Army Hammer Army Hammer was on the come-up throughout the 2010s, starring in the likes of The Man from Uncle and Call Me By Your Name. Hello, what are you doing? Reading my music. No, you're not. Thinking, then? Yeah? The latter earned him widespread attention and praise, and he was even nominated for a Golden Globe for his work in it. But in January of 2021, various allegations were made against him, claiming that he had disturbing proclivities and would subject his partners to abuse. He left many of his pending projects behind while others cut ties with him and basically fled the entertainment industry. His final film to date, Death on the Nile, was released in 2022. That was naughty of me. Hello. I hope you don't mind. I took the liberty. Hammer is now thought to be residing in the Cayman Islands and reportedly works in the timeshare selling business.
Number 3. Louis C.K. This comedian was among those whose inappropriate behavior was exposed amid the hashtag MeToo movement. After years of speculation and rumor, CK was officially accused of sexual misconduct by numerous women in 2017. 24 hours after allegations against comedian Louis CK, allegations of lewd contact, he says these stories are true. Some of those women had also reportedly been threatened by his then-manager Dave Becky, who was said to have intimidated them into silence. And also with regard to how it stayed an open secret for so long, Corey went on to say that the comedy world is a very different world, and she says there's, there's a lot of allegiance and a lot of fear, and that it's not a comfortable place to speak out. CK disappeared for some time following the allegations, but has since made a comeback of sorts. He put out the stand-up specials Sincerely Louis C.K. and Sorry, the former of which won a Grammy in 2022. Fourth of July, a movie on which he served as co-writer, producer, and director, also came out that year. I had this thing again where I thought I ran over a guy. Did you run over a guy? No. I was on the phone, which I know is bad. I shouldn't have done that. Who were you on the phone with? My mother. Number two, J.K. Rowling. The cultural heights reached by Harry Potter are hard to overstate. Expecto Patronum! It's a once-in-a-lifetime phenomenon, and it came from the mind of J.K. Rowling. However, the author has come under fire in recent years, as she has made a series of problematic claims regarding sex and gender. Her remarks have widely been dubbed harmful and transphobic, and she has received backlash from the media, activists, and Harry Potter fans alike. For the influential author of children's literature to be so vehemently anti-trans um, and to so publicly uh, shame, ridicule, and invalidate trans people uh, is, is lethal. However, she continues on with her career. She's still writing the Comoran Strike series under her pseudonym Robert Galbraith, with the sixth book being published in 2022. That year also saw the release of Fantastic Beasts The Secrets of Dumbledore, which Rowling co-wrote with Steve Cloves. What you're doing is madness. It's what we said we'd do. When I was young, I was committed to me. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Kevin Spacey. Very few actors have experienced a downfall quite like Kevin Spacey. And then I blackmailed him for almost $60,000 past the asparagus. <laughs> Your father seems to think this kind of behavior is something to be proud of. The man, who was once a respected actor and two-time Oscar winner, is now a disgraced ex-celebrity accused of sexual misconduct and abuse. Spacey was accused by over a dozen people throughout the mid to late 2010s, which effectively ended his acting career. These eight people are all coming forward anonymously saying they fear retribution. But yes, they describe the set of House of Cards as a toxic environment for young men who had to interact with Spacey in any capacity. He is still facing legal repercussions stemming from the claims and is due to face trial in the UK in the summer of 2023. There are cases in England. There are criminal cases. There are multiple ones. Um, at first glance, they appear to be serious. In the midst of these court battles, however, he is attempting a semblance of a return to the spotlight. He has notably been cast in a movie called Peter 5-8, and his voice will appear in the 2023 thriller Control. 